What's happening guys, it's Shane here. So I really do love reading the comments section. I try to respond to every single comment, of course, and I get a lot of love and support down there as well as some really good feedback. And I especially appreciate it when you guys smash the like button because that really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Smurf them. Go, go. But I also get a lot of people who disagree with what I say and I totally respect you guys too, as long as you make some good points. So we're good. Good. And as you guys know, I think that some college degrees are not worth going $35,000 in debt and spending $80,000 on. Price of a cup of coffee a day. But a common thing that I see in the comments is people thinking that pretty much any degree is worth it because there's so many jobs out there that require that you have a degree, even if the job isn't necessarily related to that degree. And I think that 20 years ago, this was probably true. You could get an underwater basket weaving degree or something like that and still end up making six figures. And I guess it's still possible for that to happen these days, but it's just not that common. And in order for that to happen, you really do have to plan ahead. And a lot of the times in my videos, I go over statistics and a lot of the details of what you need to do in order to make sure that you get a good degree. But in today's video, I'm just gonna go over a survey that Payscale conducted that basically just went over the top five reasons why people regret their college degrees. Now, this was a pretty significant survey of around 250,000 people, and I saw this the other day and I think this is going to answer a lot of the questions and basically counteract some of the comments that I get on my videos. Now the number five regret on this list was that they had to spend four years of their life in order to get the college degree. Now if you think about it, four years is a really really long time especially considering that you're literally paying tens of thousands of dollars each year to go to college. Now imagine what else you could have done in four years. You could have traveled all over the world, you could have started your own business, or actually you probably could have started several different businesses. And this is made even worse by the fact that a lot of the times people don't understand or get what they're getting into, and so they end up spending five or six years to get their degree. Now the number four reason that people regret getting a college degree is that it was extremely hyped up by past generations. Now college really isn't what it used to be for many different reasons that we're not necessarily gonna get into, but one of the big ones is you used to be able to work a part-time job and pay for all of your college tuition. And I've gone over this in other videos, but basically college is two to three times more expensive than it should be here in the U.S. I can't talk about it anymore. It's giving me a headache. And I think part of the reason for that is because it was so hyped up by past generations and they kind of just put it up on this pedestal and you kind of just looked forward to it your entire childhood. And then when you finally get there and you go to college, it's really not nearly as good as you thought it would be. Number three on the list is going to be your chosen area of study. Now, according to the study, 73 to 75% of humanities art, uh, physical, and life science majors, as well as social science majors, regretted their college degree. The people who regretted their degrees the least were computer science grads, as well as engineering grads. And then middle of the pack were business grads, health science grads, as well as mathematics majors. Mm, everyone has regrets. Now the number two reason why they regretted their degree was student debt. And I think a lot of people have no idea what they're getting into when they take out student debt. So for instance, if you take out a business loan, you start a business, and let's say the business is not successful, it goes under, you can default on that debt and declare bankruptcy. Whereas with student debt, you can't do that. You're stuck with it pretty much no matter what. Now, on top of that, there are relatively high interest rates, especially if you pursue a graduate degree. And the numbers are varying, but students on average are graduating with around thirty-five dollars to $40,000 worth of debt. And I talked about this in other videos, but a lot of people actually have a negative net worth until they reach their 30s. So a lot of them are working their butts off all through their 20s just to be able to be above ground and dig themselves out of a hole by the time they're in their 30s. Now this was one of the best studies that I looked at and it's the reason why I chose this one because they also looked at generational differences. So for instance, over 50% of baby boomers didn't regret college, whereas that was only around 29% for millennials. And I think one of the main reasons for this is because of student loans. 20 or 30 years ago, college was completely different than it was today, and chances are it didn't really matter what degree you got, you were gonna be good, but it's simply not the same today. And the number one regret on the list was that they can't get a job. Students are spending four years of their life all of their money, you know, $80,000 going $35,000 into debt, 
and doing all of that work in order to get a piece of paper. And guess what? That piece of paper isn't getting them a job. A worthless piece of paper. Now, this isn't the case for all degrees, of course. That's what I talk about on this channel. But for many of them, it's basically a worthless piece of paper. A college degree in general simply does not have the value that it used to have 20, 30, or 40 years ago. We're seeing a trend of a lot of employers not caring nearly as much about college degrees and instead caring a lot more about soft skills, past history, as well as employment. Now, make sure to check out my videos right here. I made them just for you. Go ahead, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little notification bell, and then comment down below any ideas you have about this video, any thoughts, comments, or criticisms. Thank you so much and bye for now.